leg ring tone, it don't ring long, but this beat on, but this beat hard, so leave that phone alone. Hello guys, how y'all doing this morning? How y'all living? Real Housewives of Atlanta, reunion too. How y'all living out there this morning? How y'all doing? Miss Tiki been under the weather, but she's back. She's back. I say, you know what? This reunion, I have to say, Nene, Poe Nene Leaks. Girl, what is your problem? What is wrong with you, okay? What is your deal, girl? I said, Lord Jesus, y'all, I couldn't even get my necklace on this morning with these nails. Y'all know when y'all have surgery, they make you take off all your jewelry. I tried to get my son to help me get things on before I got out the house, but let's time, let's let's do it, okay? Okay, we still got the reunion going on, and uh, Miss Nene is just not feeling nobody, okay? She is mad. And uh, this this one, it, it's basically um, her and Greg, okay? Her and Greg. Andy's asking her questions like basically you and Greg, you know, done had problems before he, you know, was diagnosed with cancer. And uh, what we want to do is bring Mr. Leaks out and uh, chit chat with him. So... I guess they had to get her permission because she probably, for $2 million, told them for another million, you can have my husband come. And uh, Andy, <laughs> yeah, Andy was outdone with Nene Leaks. I feel like Andy at this point may tell that bitch, you know what? You're not picking up a contract next uh, week, okay? Y'all, I got to get my shit together. Y'all know how it is when you've been off and, uh, not doing good but um we just gonna try to get into it okay oh come on now we gotta get it together because you know people watching <laughs> Woo, i will not waddle in the sand and play in the mud i will not do it i'm not gonna do it <laughs> she ain't gonna do it Honey, I will not go back three years and start fighting with nobody. Shit, I can't remember half of the shit that went on. <laughs> Woo, I know I love all people. Don't get it twisted, okay? I said, folks, are just make up shit. Make up shit, but it is what it is. Um, So now Mr. Uh, Greg Leakes is asked to come out. So they can address the shit that's been going on with Miss Nene Leakes and her husband and this colon cancer situation during season 11, okay? Everybody sitting there like... Okay, everybody sitting there like, okay. They watching Greg come out and uh, their prayers are going out to Greg because they know Nene is evil. Honey, Nene don't give a ham sandwich about nobody. I said, oh, that girl evil. I said, Lord, be a shield. This girl don't like nobody. And I be seeing the girl caping for her when she be doing the reviews. I be like, you know what? I thought Nene turned over a new leaf. Well, honey, Nene crazy as a motherfucker. Nene crazy. And Marlo was sitting there, honey, fighting like, when you leave, you gonna come over. I was like... <laughs> You bitches ain't over there going together, is y'all, okay? <laughs> Girl! So, Mr. Mr. Leaks came out. And he's just like, you know what? Uh, Andy is like, do you think you cheated on her back in 2010? Has anything to do with the way she's conducting herself? He said, I've gotten over that. And he said, well, maybe Miss Leaks... Mrs. Leeks has not got over that. And she like, no, maybe I haven't. Nene had an attitude so bad. I was just sitting there like, okay, how can you come on and give a good review for somebody who just seemed like they were pissed off and mad and didn't want to be there and telling all her co-workers to kiss her ass. I'm like, I gotta come on here and 
try to make an entertaining review for you guys. And this bitch mad at everybody, okay? Marlo, you can get it too. That's how she was sitting there. And I'm like, girl, girl, are you fucking kidding me? So she even turns to Andy and basically tells him to shut the fuck up. Andy like, whoa, okay. And I'm like, this girl don't care about nobody, okay? You would be a fool to be sitting there fighting for Miss Nene Leaks and Nene don't give a damn about nobody, okay? Nene had put Greg ass out if she had to. He said, are you guys still in a separate room? Yes. Is it because of his colonoscopy bag? She wouldn't answer that question, but it sounded like she didn't want to smell that shit. She didn't want to be around nothing like that. Honey, my first husband was shot and I was there smelling shit and all wiping it cleaning it well I didn't clean it but I was there I didn't leave because you know I, when you love you're supposed to love unconditionally okay and uh I don't think me I don't know Nene just was not in the fucking mood I would have said you know what if I was Andy and I was her boss bitch go home for the day I'm sending you home for a bad attitude we are not gonna deal with you and your attitude how can you do a freaking reunion and this bitch won't answer none? I got one answer to every fucking question. So anyway, the Greg shit, she basically saying, I don't know if we gonna stay together or not, okay? Okay. I mean, everybody just sitting there looking at her like, bitch, you is fucking crazy. Uh, Miss Portia wants to get out for some reason. She want to be the voice of reasoning. And, and we all sitting here and we all doing whatever and, 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 and dispensable and indispensable. And they're like, look, Andy even corrected Portia. Shut up. Okay? You've been doing good this season. You got a baby and you done, you done found a man that, you know, allegedly is going to marry you and whatever, whatnot. And we giving you a little three series commercial. Shut up. Your ass did not uh, graduate from high school. Uh, you know, you weren't paying attention. You was walking around thinking you was too cute, okay? So they all look at Miss Portia like, girl, quit trying to use big words and you know you don't know the meaning or you don't know what the fuck you said. I stay in y'all caliber, okay? If you can use that big word, use it. If you can't, girl, leave it alone. That's one thing. I ain't never trying to be something I ain't. This is me. This is what God gave me. And I'm thankful. I am so thankful. I said sometimes you got to be careful because people don't be thankful for you. You can be a caring, giving person and people be out just disliking you for no reason. No reason. But honey, I give thanks to that man up above. Who is the head of my life? Who is my life? Okay. Because y'all don't know what I go through. Nobody knows the walk I take in my journey every day. I might get on here smiling for 10 minutes and <laughs> but nobody knows the way I suffer and the things that I go through. I'm sitting here right now where she stuck the IV in my arm and this bruise is so big. And uh, when she did it, she was like, oh, that's going to bruise. No, bitch, you look like you beat me. And bruises all on my neck. Me and my son was like, mama, did you have a surgery procedure? Did they stomp the shit out of you? <laughs> Woo! But you know what? It ain't gonna stop me from living. It ain't gonna stop me from giving. And it damn ain't gonna, damn sure ain't gonna stop me from doing, okay? If I stop giving and doing because of what people thought about me, I wouldn't have nothing in the world and I would be sitting somewhere crying. Oh, honey, my tears are tears of joy. And I am thankful. But anyway, Miss Portia wanted to be the voice of reason and they shut her ass up. And honey, Marlo was on go. Every time somebody said something, Marlo was like, oh, wah, 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 wah. Bitch, fuck you, your mama, your daddy. Uh, Shamari got started. Honey, Marlo went in. You're an alcoholic. You're an alcoholic. You're an alcoholic. Andy said, well, what make you think what you did over there in Tokyo was any different from uh, Shamari saying every time she got out because she's a wife. She has twins. And she's been sitting at home, you know, living under his career and not hers. What's wrong with her getting out, letting her hat out? Marlo said, the difference between what I did was a girl's night out. You may have seen me drunk one time. This bitch drunk all the time. And she grabbing people, nanny and chee-chees. And, 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 you know, she's, she's, 
you know, she's bisexual and she's letting us know she still want to holler at one of us or she always flirting with one of us. And you know what? That's something I have always been very voiceful about. I don't care what you are. Be who you are. But don't come at me with it. And that's just me. And I've stated that. That's not homophobic. I don't want no girl kissing and feeling on me. So, yeah, I've always been voiceful about that. And uh, I love all people. But don't hit on me. Don't do it. I had a girl at work tell me, you can have the best of both worlds if you open your mind. Open my mind. No. You can have whatever you want, and I'm going to support you. I'm going to be there. Honey, I got bells and, and, and chimes and shit on, but I don't want you hitting on me. Don't. And don't get mad at me about that. So, I'm very voiceful about that. So, call me what you want, honey. But, honey, I asked to Miss Tiki. Okay? But anyway, um, Shamari and Marlo was going back and forth, so Shamari had to let her know, bitch, you're a felon. And I said, I know Marlo's so sick of people throwing up she's a felon. Yes, I'm a felon. Yes. Yes, I will beat a bitch ass. Yes, I've been to jail. And what? And what? I like the way Marlo sat down, just played, whatever. And then Shamari said, and you got a lisp. But when Miss uh, Marlo said, well, at least I wasn't vomiting on everything. I, I, then I was like, okay, vomiting, not vomiting. Okay, Miss Marlo, B-O-M-I-T-T, -T, vomit, and then I-N-G on the end, okay, boo? But it's okay if you want to be vomiting, just like some people back down say, say scree. And I would always be like, why they say scree? Why they put an S-K on an S-T, you know? But I just look at them and keep going because maybe that's the way they were born. That's just the way it is. Okay? Yeah, so you know what? Marlo and Shamari had their little thing. Eva and Marlo, no, they do not get along. Andy had to be, bring up the scene on the bus portion. 45 minutes of them fighting. And uh, Andy asked. Marlo, do you think you won? Everybody, now nah, Eva won. Eva drugged that bitch. And Andy said, you came out as Eva the diva on that ass. And she said, I sure did. I had to let them hoes know what's popping. And uh, it is what it is. So Miss Marlo wanted to shade her and say, yeah, bitch, because you ain't got no money. We find out that Eva's husband is a lawyer. He's ran for office. And, you know, that's just his thing. <laughs> If I have disdain for anybody, it's them lawyers the one that took all my money and I'm laying on his suffering with this badass neck. But uh, I, I gotta pray on it. I'm gonna pray on it. <laughs> I gotta pray because uh, he took all my money. Lord be a shield. And I'm still suffering. Need surgery. But it is what it is. We're gonna keep on praying about it. That's why you gotta. Uh, front mirror and not a rear view, honey. I refuse to look in this little old bitty mirror and go back and fight. I will I will not do it. But anyway, honey, Miss Eva the Diva is letting their asses know because I think Eva has on the prettiest dress. Marlo looks cute all the time, but Marlo always calling everybody out on their fashions. I'm like, okay, Marlo, you the baddest bitch. You got the most money for uh, the clothes. I don't know who you with and what you're doing and who's supporting you, but girl, you got it. You you got it. You 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 know you the shit. And uh wherever you getting your coins from to support all that name brand shit. So be it. You know, it is what it is. Uh Candy and uh Portia agreed they they've uh okay with each other they will not follow each other on social media anymore because you follow me you unfollow me you follow me you unfollow me and like candy say the blogs pick it up and they always make it bigger than what it is that's true so i understand candy on that portia said oh yeah i would love to have her as my uh baby god mama i know you would she said because that bitch rich and i said okay miss portia Call a spade a spade. Call it for what it is, okay? She said, because she is rich. Y'all, his ass come. 
He had his lights on. Highway Patrol don't come over here bothering me today. But um, other than that, Tammy, or Tanya, whatever her name is, forgettable. I just can't see her uh, coming back. And uh, she was trying. And uh, Nene kept on saying, look at them bitches over there coming for my peach. Nene kept saying that over and over and over. Look at these bitches coming for my peach. And I was like, ooh, ooh. But I think they should give Marlo a peach. Marlo deserve a peach. Give her a peach, Andy. Let me see, who else? We got a, y'all, we got another part three on this reunion. Um, let me see, did we touch base? Cause it was basically boring. It was just Nene being an evil bitch. Nene say fuck all y'all. Nene kept disrespecting Cynthia. Cynthia was trying to come back, but Cynthia just don't have that ugh for Nene. Nene is mean. And Cynthia, I mean, Nene just makes her look so weak. I say, you know what? Get it how you live, but you run up on me, you ain't gonna get no weak bitch over here. It ain't gonna happen, Captain. It's not gonna happen. Not on my time, honey. But um, Cynthia and Nene friendship basically seem like it's torn. And it is what it is. I'm trying to get another video out. But um, because I want to catch up. Y'all, the reunion was I. It, that's it. There's a part three. Y'all have a lucky day. Follow me over there on IG Tiki44, Facebook Tiki44. Y'all know I be trying to Snapchat and uh, blessings and blessings and blessings and whatever's going on in life. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Bye, guys.